The Guadeloupe archipelago consists of volcanic islands. Basse-Terre Island, which is located on the western side of the archipelago, has the youngest and highest volcanoes. The Volcanological and Seismological Observatory of Guadeloupe aims to monitor the activity of the Soufrière, which is the only active volcano on the island. With an altitude of 1467 meters, the dome of the Soufrière is the highest point in the East Caribbean. It dominates the south of the island and towns of Saint-Claude, Bastère and Capesterre. From its formation less than 500 years ago, the dome of the Soufrière was shaken by several phreatic eruptions and is subjected to intense hydrothermal alteration caused by fluid circulation within it. Gas of powerful and active fumaroles on the top destroyed vegetation on the southern and western flanks. Knowing the internal structure of the dome is particularly important to estimate the degree of damage and evaluate the risk of collapse. The purpose of our experiments is to tomography the volcano using cosmic rays. Several observation points are occupied in turns to radiography the volcano from different angles and collect the necessary data in order to reconstruct the 3D tomography. Measurements are made using telescope built in our laboratories. The field conditions require that our instruments are resistant to heavy tropical rains and consume little electricity to operate independently. The telescope is installed on the Roche Fendue, located on the eastern side of the volcano. Here, we see the entire installation in February 2011 with the telescope protected by its green tarpaulin and the solar panels providing electrical energy. The weather is cloudy and rainy most of the time and the work starts by foot to carry the lightest elements and begin the installation. Thanks to the modularity of the telescope, the different items can be installed in any order. The circular basis will be mounted first. It was designed and machined by the engineers of the Nuclear Physics Institute located in Lyon, France. The basis counts about 40 elements to be assembled and screwed on the field. The mounting of the basis is nearly completed. Once horizontally installed, the basis will be ready to receive the telescope. The telescope is equipped with guiding wheels and a single person can easily rotate the instrument. When the telescope is properly oriented, the wheels are secured and the telescope remains static to perform measurements. A sunny day allowed the EC-145 helicopter of the French Civil Security to operate and carry the heavy elements. The heaviest element, 60 kg, is the hydraulic cylinder used to control the inclination of the telescope. The cylinder has been machined by the engineers of Geoscience Rennes and it allows to easily change the inclination of the telescope. The smooth movement allows to adjust the inclination with a precision of 0.1 degree. These improvements will greatly increase the capabilities of the instrument to perform high resolution radiography of the volcano. This is achieved by configuring the telescope in a high angular resolution mode. The total angular aperture of the instrument is reduced accordingly and the radiographies are obtained by moving the instrument in order to perform a scan of the entire volcano. Thank you.